Greetings, knights and knaves, lords and ladies, tis I, your lord commander, and welcome back to Mountain Blade 2, Bannerlord. Now, I know that last week, uh, we kind of started a playthrough already, playing as a mercenary company known as the Lazarus Company, under the care of their wonderful captain, Sir Otto Vane. However, in the week that has followed, I was doing some live streams and messing around with some of the mods at the request of some of our moderators and live audience and as a result some of these mods kind of broke my last save game so it was entirely un uh unplayable unfortunately so the tale of the lazarus company and sir auto vane has unfortunately come to a uh to an end but now that we are in uh, a brand new save game uh we can in fact uh start off a new playthrough so uh i would like to introduce you to our new character uh this is sir Barrand. uh he is the honorable knight role uh that we plan on playing uh in this playthrough and his clan is known as the milite order milite is uh like a rough translation of knight in latin which i really enjoyed um so the, the basically like the knight's order but uh you know the milite order this is our uh our banner uh made with one of our mods um I thought this was really cool. I, re I really enjoy the design here. So I've got the the orange bowl because that's kind of our uh our sigil here in the in the channel. Uh the big four-way cross uh just kind of like splits off like the uh the ideas of faith and then like our our four different um aspects and everything like that. So uh the the honor and the loyalty of our uh our house is represented by the bull sigil our ranks of knights our strength and arms uh as we fight side by side is represented by the three uh swords the sword with the uh with the cross roses in the background is a representation of our uh honor and our and our lack of ruthlessness when it comes to to warfare you know we try to keep to our uh honorable roots and everything like that and then of course the scales of justice and then, uh, I don't know, I like this little flower decal that I put in the center here. So, um, pretty cool. I really enjoy the way that this came out, to be honest. Um, but anyway, yeah, Sir Baron. Um, another one of such mods that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, this is, comes from a mod called uh, My Little Warband. Essentially what it is is that I can go through and uh, create my own troop tree. So I made a tree of uh, units that is completely unique to our faction alone so no other faction in calradia will have these units so our base level unit is called the volunteer uh this is the the customization screen from the volunteer uh it splits into two other units you have on the infantry side we have the man-at-arms uh, a little more heavy armored and a little better skill sets and then from the man-at-arms we have the lieutenant which I think is really cool. A lot of these armor mods, uh, or a lot of these, the armor that you see is from an armor mod known as the uh, the Open Source Armory, uh, which I really enjoy. They have a lot of really cool stuff. Um, but from the Lieutenant, or from the Lieutenant, sorry, I'm trying to say Lieutenant instead of Lieutenant, because, you know, it adds that kind of uh, medieval, you know, my Lieutenants, I should probably say it in an accent. I feel like that would be better. <laughs> but anyway, so the Lieutenant, can then turn into one of two different types of units. We have the Knight Captain, our one-handed and shield master at arms, the scourge of the battlefield, with a, a very cool uh two-handed weapon called the Volg. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's quite menacing. <laughs> and then uh other than the knight captain, the lieutenant can turn into the savage knight. Shown here with our great helm and our fur cloak and then again another menacing uh two-handed weapon the short bill they also have either uh two-handed swords or two-handed hooked cavalry axe as well as a one-handed uh spiked battle axe i think that makes them quite uh quite intimidating on the battlefield anyway so back to the volunteer that is the infantry side of the tree on the ranger side of the tree we have the archer real basic a uh, little bit of light uh, armor and everything like that. not uh, Nothing too crazy. And then from the archer, they turn into the crossbowmen. 
Now, it is outlined in the Code of Chivalry that they think ranged weapons are dishonorable and kind of like a shitty way to, you know, conduct combat. But we are, you know, realistic in our, uh, in our pursuit of, um, of honor and glory and whatnot. And so uh, we do see the, uh, the need for, for a crossbowmen and rangers and such. And then moving on to our final uh, footman unit, we have the Knight Ranger. I really like how this guy came out. I really enjoy the, uh, the helmet and then the armor style and everything. And uh, he is outfitted with a crossbow and some heavy bolts as well as a, a sword, sorry, short sword and shield. I don't know why that was. I was having such a hard time saying that. My bad, guys. Uh, but that is our uh, infantry units, our cavalry units. We have to start us off the squire, real basic, really light armored, nothing too crazy. All he has is a uh, a shield and a and a one handed sword or a one handed axe is what they'll spawn with. And then from the squire, they turn into the warden, the captain of our cavalry units. Uh, an absolute menace with the pole arm. Uh, yeah, heavy knight lance, heavy heater shield, arming sword with a circle. Nice. And then uh, again, like the captain kind of armor. And then lastly, from the warden, they turn into one of two unit types. We have the Lord's Page. Absolutely menacing. I love the kind of like executioner look uh, to the helmet. I think that's really cool. Uh, but again, you know... A uh, heavy lance, heavy shield, and then a, a one-handed sword. And from there, we have the Lord's Justice. This helmet is just absolutely amazing. Let me uh, let me get rid of the the mount real quick so you can see. But that helmet looks so good right there. It's very menacing. The fact that you can't see the eyes through the slits, I think, just makes it absolutely absolutely menacing. Really cool. I'm really excited to see these guys in combat. Um, I did kind of cheat and make them like really low tier, uh, just so they don't like their wage is just really low. It's literally eight gold. Like that's nothing. Um, now we do have another playthrough in the works currently, uh, that I'm doing on stream, uh, at the request of our, uh, wonderful moderators and live audience, um, where we are playing as the, uh, evil empire, a group of, uh, of pagans and uh, heretics that worship a new set of gods and we wish to spread that ideology across the entire continent and so we are using underhanded tactics and ruthlessness to kind of force ourselves into power over the entire continent of Calradia but that is for uh, Saturday streams only now that we've gotten ourselves pretty uh, pretty far in that playthrough here we are our honorable knight, which I choose to, uh, you know, hold ourselves to throughout this channel. We are, in fact, the honorable knights. But anyway, without further ado, let's just jump straight into the playthrough now. I do apologize for that, you guys. Alright, attack! Do a little bit of combat for you guys. I did do a little bit of playing uh, early on this morning. Oh my goodness, that scared me. I was not ready for that. Arrows! Perfect! All right, look at that! Absolutely menacing. I love it. This is all. Uh, these are all like really base level troops too. Like all the all the short sleeved male. Like those are all our our volunteers. And then uh, all the leathers are men at arms. I love it. All right, so we can pull our uh, men at arms forward. Put them in a shield wall formation. Uh, we'll pull our archers uh, kind of back here. Loose formation. And then of course myself will be right here i am very lightly armored i can't get any of the cool armor that these guys have unfortunately unless i have like a cheat mode activated and i don't have cheat mode activated whoops did not mean to do that oh they have a cavalry unit what the hell where did you come from okay <laughs> just ran my horse right into the tree i hate this i need a i need a better horse i need a much better horse I barely hit him. I like poked him with it. There we go. There we go. Send our footmen in to charge. 
There we go. Loose formation, lads. Get them. Yeah, Pike's out. Let's go. Let's go. That is amazing. Very nice. Even if I'm, you know, pretty, uh, pretty low level, I'm just really glad that our troops are, are mad OP, kinda. There we go. We got some crossbowmen. Bam. Plenty of upgrades to go around. Now we do have a a mission, a request of one of the uh, the nearby uh, notables in one of the cities. If it'll load anytime soon. The only downside to playing with mods is that the load times are kind of high. But anyway, we uh, we were tasked to come over here and help defend uh, this village against some some poachers. So being the honorable knights that we are, we are gonna set up. Uh, we are going to negotiate with these poachers to try and save lives, you know what I'm saying? We're not here to cause unnecessary death. Well, are you working for that merchants in the town? So it's all fine when the rich folk trade in poached skins, but if we do it, armed men come to hunt us down. Maybe we can come to an agreement, then. Maybe. What's there to discuss? You're not bad people. You can easily ply your trade somewhere else. Somewhere safe. <gasps> he did not like that. Alright. I don't think so. Alright. What if I try this one? You talk about poor folk, but you think the people here like their village turned into a nest of outlaws? Oh my god, he does not care. Okay. You had an agreement with Melon the, S the Silk Vendor. Your word is your bond, no matter which side of the law you're on. God damn, he really does not give a fuck! <laughs> Jesus. Alright, flee while you can. An army is already on its way here to hang you all. Critical success! Oh shit! <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. <laughs> That's awesome. You've made your points. Nice. Wow. Can't believe it. I can't believe that worked. That's so funny. I didn't even I didn't even think that was going to work. I'm not going to lie. That's crazy. We were that was we were having such a hard time trying to convince them to leave. And then we, all we had to do was threaten them after the fact. Like that's fantastic. Anyway, there's not really much going on, so we're going to continue to fight uh some bandits, you know, in our in our quest for for honor and glory. We must uh, protect the small folk. Perfect. Look at that. 20, that's 24 versus 25. Amazing. I love that. Attack! Oh, the trees! The trees! Oh, nice. Got a nice little ridge here. I don't know if our archers can fit up here, though. Oh, they can! That's amazing! There you go. Perfect. I did not mean to ready up just yet, because I'm actually not ready. Shield wall, men. I'm going to wait for them to come to us. Actually, we're going to pull our footmen forward just a tad bit. Loose formation so they can run. Oh, of course. Got his ass. Let's go. He's not dead, but I hit him. I wounded him. Fine. Fight me, beach. See, I'm so slow, even with my, my one-handed weapons. Warriors! Ready this way! Infantry! Arms legs apart! Warriors! Give them hell! There we go. Set them to charge. Bop. They have a lot of archers. Are our archers firing at all? They are. Okay, good. Nice. Victory! Our archers got one kill. Our crossbowmen got four, though, so that's good. As long as they're getting kills, I suppose that's all that matters. Beautiful. Our men-at-arms... Oh, ten lieutenants. That's amazing. Oh, that's so expensive, though. It's gonna be worth it. In the end, one, two, one, two, and then... Ah, oh, beautiful. Night Rangers. The first knights have joined our army. Absolutely beautiful. Cost me half a thousand. I love that. That's alright. Half a thousand. You know, 500. I don't know why I said it like that, but whatever.
Half a thousand, half a K. <laughs> Very knightly indeed. Anyway, we're going to continue on our journey. Oh, we, it looks like we leveled up as well. Perfect. Leveled up in one-handed. Uh, let's do deflect. Beautiful. Pole arms. Beautiful. Cavalry. Yes. And then uh, full speed. Yeah. Beautiful. And we got a couple of uh, skill levels. So I put some on our two-handed because the goal is to try and get a two-handed sword. Uh, very knightly, I, I believe, in my opinion. Uh, we also need to get ourselves a ranged weapon, however, and I would really enjoy uh, utilizing a bow. So we can add one of those. And then we also need to uh, level up ourselves in scouting as well. Just so we can have a, a better field of vision while we're traveling on the map like this. Ooh, 18 mountain bandits. Let's do a quick save. Mountain bandits are quite tough because they have a lot of uh, throwing spears and oftentimes they do have uh, cavalry units as well, so... How much faster than me are they? Oh look, and 12, oh, 18 looters. Beautiful. Beautiful. We try to be merciful, as merciful as we can be. However, we have zero tolerance for bandits, brigands, and other uh, criminals of that ilk. Sir Baron and uh, Lord Destor of the Empire, of the Evil Empire, would not like each other at all. And honestly, I think that level of lore is uh, very important. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. I love it. These guys look so good. Oh, yeah. That looks amazing. These guys look so good. Oh, he's got his, his crossbows out. That's awesome. What are we working with? A bunch of spearmen. That's fine. Look at these guys. Our lieutenants. Beautiful. Absolutely menacing. Are we not in range yet? There we go. We're hitting them. Getting hits. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. I need a better better uh, spear. Or even a lance. Like, a lance would be better than this, you know? I also need a better horse because I'm moving so slow right now. I missed him. Send our infantry to charge. Uh, so let's watch him go. Lieutenants! Aw, oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Victory! No quarter for the Cravens. Beautiful. Nice, and now we've got our first knight captain and our first savage knight has also joined our army. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can't take out these looters that were nearby just a minute ago. But first, I level up. Oh, and leadership. Aha! Combat tips. Uh, plus two XP per day to all troops in the party. Or raise the meek. To tier 1 and 2 troops. Each troop in the garrison gains 3 XP per day. Uh, increase recruit level of units of the same culture with you from MEC. Let's do that one. Beautiful. Alright, let's take out these looters. Oh, they're too fast. Way too fast for me. Alright, so we can we can head back to, uh, to Sargo. I like Sargo. I like the southern parts of uh, the kingdom of, of Landia the most. I'm not sure why, but I just I just do, you know. <laughs> Beautiful. Caravan ambush. I wonder if we have enough men to take on this task. I know your name. I hear you re recently caught some bandits. Speaking as a merchant, we appreciate any efforts to make the roads safer. I heard you may need some help with a problem. I don't think you can help me. You don't have enough troops for this task. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, can I recruit anymore? Nope. See, we're still at our max. So unfortunately, we are going to have to level up before we can take on uh, missions like these, like the uh, caravan ambush, which is unfortunate because I really do enjoy uh, caravan ambush. Ooh, Vatican's Deadeye. Ah, oh, beautiful. So we're going to get ourselves a companion. Your health, stranger. Who might you be? My name is Sir Baron, sir. That's a lot of sirs. Tell me about yourself. 
Yeah, right. So here it is. <laughs> I fought with the company of the Golden Boar. The company of the Boar. Good lads, some of them, but others, let's just say that it's the kind of outfit that attracts men born to trouble. Alright, I don't really care. I suppose that is self-defense in a way. I think, I think he killed somebody. <laughs> right now, I'm between jobs if you've got any work for me. I'm willing to discuss it. I can use someone like you in my company. Very well, but the world being as it is, I'm going to need 354. That's a lot. They're, that's a lot, but also just very specific as a number, so fine. Whatever. Uh, back to town center. Uh, we do have to drop one of our troops, unfortunately, so we can drop... Oh, what is our lowest level unit? Uh, I think the man-at-arms. Yeah, we only have two of them. Uh, so let's let's drop uh, man-at-arms. Might as well. Done. Uh, go to trade. For now. That is fine. That should be fine. Leave. Perfect. Perfect. And now we must travel along, looking for our next conquest, our next mission. The next unfortunate soul who would need a helping hand. We shall be there. Except for errands. We're not we're not the type to run errands. Needs grain seeds. Nah. Nah. I like to help out the little villages. You know, it makes me feel good. <laughs> Except for when they need me to just run some errands for them. Ah, some looters. Gotta wait until daytime before we can take on this fight. Cause I don't wanna I don't I don't like to fight them at night, because I can't see anything. <laughs> We're not looking for a fight, neither am I, if you surrender. Otherwise, you'll never take us alive. <laughs> Alrighty then. Horse bowmen. We don't have any horse bowmen, you liar. Bowmen! Onward! Both formations, both! Forward! Make a shield wall! Everyone, move! Interesting. Come here, you. Oh, fuck. I hate how slow I am. I need a better horse. I need a faster horse, at least. Nice. Victory, lads! Absolutely beautiful. We're so good. Two, three, four. Beautiful. So many knights. I love it. Our knight order is slowly coming along. Greetings, people of Jaculan. Army of Poachers. My name is Sir Baron, madam. May I ask your name? I am Van... Vanalind. <laughs> I am Vanalind. I heard you may need some help with a problem. Yeah, I've got some problems. Literally never gets old. That's so funny. Why does your face look like that? I just looked up at her. Jesus. Oh, what can I do for you, <laughs> madam? I would of those poachers myself. Don't even worry about it. I got you, lady. I got you. Milady. My lady. I suppose I should say it as milady because I'm, you know, I'm not highborn or anything. Yeah, so we got to wait here until nighttime for the uh, the poachers to arrive. And then, you know, being our honorable selves, of course, we've got to uh, try to convince them to 
step off of the path of the evil of the uh, of the brigand and the bandits. Maybe we can come to an agreement. Maybe. What's there to discuss? You're not bad people. Nice. Yes, you might be correct. I know. Uh, you talk about poor folks, but you think the people here like their village turned... Oh, critical failure! No! No, no. This is how I earn my living, and all your clever talk doesn't make it any difference. Leave now. Anything else to say? I'm here to do the job I agreed to do, outlaw. Give up or die. You will never see the sunrise again. Interesting. That's so unfortunate. I can't believe we <laughs> hit a, cr a critical failure there. That's so sad. Oh well, their funeral. Where's the rest of my men? Where are my archers at, dude? What the heck? <laughs> why, why are we so spread out? That's so weird. Alright, where's the enemy? They're right over there. Perfect. So, our infantry. Shield wool. Actually. Yeah, that's fine. Arrows. Loose formation. And myself. Right here. Beautiful. We're not even going to hesitate. We're going to send all our men into charge. Just go get them, lads. We gotta, we gotta storm them fast because the uh, these poachers uh, do have bows and arrows, so they can start to take our men out as we as we approach. Luckily, we have the hill on our side a little bit. Got one. He's not dead, but I wounded him. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Almost got him. I forgot I got it. I had the bow. Got him. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at our knights, dude. These guys look so good. Oh, why is this cape backwards? Oh, there it goes. It fixed itself. I was like, what the hell? Did y'all see that shit? That was crazy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Such high level units, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Success. Vanalind, the oilpressor. Or oil presser, sorry. I always like I always get so dyslexic trying to read that shit. Anyway, let's head north towards Galland. Oh some mountain bandits. Oh, 20 mountain bandits. I hate that they wouldn't just turn around and start attacking me, but it's fine, honestly. Fine. We're so slow. It's so unfortunate. Uh, recruit troops. Yeah, see, this is what I need. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. So, oh, that's so expensive. Jesus. And these are just the squires. Good God. Anyway, so we're going to have to get rid of some of our party. Perfect. Now we've got a, a good good sized squad for ourselves. And their their wage is still really low, so that's not bad at all by any means. Um but we do need to start uh trying to find ourselves some some horses, some better horses to use. Anyway, we travel on. Now one of the points that I, I would like to make as far as being like the honorable knight, um, you know, we, we try to fight with oh some some looters, these 15 looters, and there's a, a, a tournament to be done here. Looks like we get a nighttime battle, which isn't bad, which isn't bad. Um, but anyway, the point of what I was trying to say is that uh, I know in historically uh, the knights uh, were very religious in their order and uh, you know, their religion kind of influenced uh, a lot of their decision-making and the way they treated people. Uh, but that's not... Oh, fuck yeah, dude, that's amazing. Uh, but that's not the kind of vibe that we're going for here. Uh, while we do have, like, a mixture of religions within our order, uh, we're not the type to uh, impose our, our religion or our will on others. Uh, we're genuinely just here to try and be the best that we can, the best kind of people that we can be and just help out people 
as much as we can. So it's kind of the vibe that I was shooting for uh, with our, our little knight order here. So uh, I'm kind of excited to see how it unfolds. But anyway, let's uh, let's go and murder some some <laughs> some bandits, some looters coming right at us. Perfect. Let's pull our our archers forward a little bit more. Our ranger knights or our knight rangers. Our infantry can push forward as well, and then cavalry charge. I hate how our men have like just better everything than me like look how slow I am compared to our compared to our squires take them down lads oh beautiful absolutely menacing beautiful they threw rocks at me little bastards nice I want to know how do we can do the uh, the spear brace cuz there's a way where you I think I have to have a lance actually but there's a way, like, you know how, how you know, knights look, how they hold their spears when they're jousting. Uh, they'll, like, have it under their arm and shit. I want to know, like, how I can do that. There's a way to do it, but he blocked my... Oh, absolutely wrecked on. These squires are so good, and they got axes, bro. Like, that's so cool. I think that's so cool. Absolutely beautiful. Nice. And now we've got three wardens to join the roster. Beautiful. And now we can head to Provent to do this uh this tournament. Whoops. You set the camera. There we go. Go to the tavern district and ransom our prisoners. Ah, wait a minute. Ah from Cobb Banseth. I believe that makes him. Yes, he is a Batanian. Very interesting. I, however, do not want to recruit another man because then I would have to get rid of somebody, and I don't want to do that. So, uh, let's go to trade. Too expensive for us, but anyway. So let us go to quick save, <laughs> and then we can go to the arena, join the tournament. Given this turnout, the organizers are offering a western sleeveless male shirt for the victor. Perfect. Aha! Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. It shall be a 2v2 then. I missed. Oh no. What the? Oh god. Ooh. Oh. Aha! Oh, covered in blood. Oh no, my cape. So whenever I cheer, the cape like glitches out unfortunately. That kind of sucks. But it's all right. Ah, right in the shield. Very nice. Fall to me, swordsman. Aha! A valiant fight. But I shall prevail. Aha! Oh look, it's our own it's our own guy. That's amazing. Oh ho! Oh, Vlandian Vanguard has fallen to my blade. I might have to get myself a, a crossbow. Since, uh, I'm just gonna keep getting levels in, uh, in crossbow. Ah, oh, he ducked! Bastard. Victory! Yeah, the, the cape kind of glitches out. That's fine. It happens, to be honest. In the finale, Sir Baron in a joust against a Vlandian hardened crossbowman. I can't aim for shit. <laughs> That's funny. 
Oh! We've traded blows. He hit my horse, and I hit him in the head. <laughs> Ulrich von Lichtenstein! I don't know why, but that's kind of in my head right now. Beautiful. Success! Look at our banner, man. Our coat of arms. I love it. Looks so good. Upon... Dawned upon our chest. Is it better than what we have? It is. It is much better than what we have. It's not quite the vibe that we're going for, but we are going to go ahead and just... And, and take it. Um, we're also going to trade this out. There we go. He looks a little bit better now. Uh, go to trade. You can sell that back to these people. Beautiful. Speed 48. Ah. Very nice. Go ahead and buy ourselves a better horse as well. Then we can hold on to that. Um, is there a better saddle? A light saddle. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Its weight is kind of high though. That's fine. That's fine. We can hold on to this. Actually, we can give this to our, uh, our dear ally here, which is beautiful. Vatican dead eye. Perfect. We'll pay four hundred and eighty for it. Nice. Thank you very much. Now, let us see if there's another mission for us. Not in Pravind, so we will head to the nearby villages to see. Norbrand of, Lana of Larnak needs help with brigands. Eh? So who are you then? I'm Sir Barand, and who are you? I am Norbrand. I own land around here. I speak for many of the people in this village. I've not heard of you, but you have the look of a man who might make something of himself someday. I heard you may need help with a problem. Yes, we've always had trouble with bandits, but recently we've had a lot more than our share. So you want me to hunt them down? Well, sir, you'll never get all those outlaws, but if word gets around that you took some down... Took down... Took down some of the most vicious ones, let's say two bands of brigands, robbing us wouldn't seem so lucrative. That depends. How many men do you think are required to get the job done? I bet even a party of ten properly trained men accompanied by one of your lieutenants can handle any band they find. I'll hunt down two brands of brigands for you. Very good. I'll be waiting for the good news then. Perfect. I love it. A nice little uh, mission to end it off, to send us off on our our quest. Perfect, mountain bandits. You got a problem? Not if you give up now. If not, prepare to fight. You'll never take us alive. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we can actually put him. I can't actually. So we can uh, put none here. Perfect. Horse Beautiful. Horse archers. There's definitely not horse archers, but whatever. Infantry. Oh wait a minute. What the heck? Why are they? Why are they lined up like this? <laughs> They're not paying attention to me. Perfect. Oh, they've got one, they've got one, one, uh, cavalry unit. Anyway, send, send our riders out. Actually, you know what? All men, just, just charge. Get them. I missed. Ah, oh, no. And then I ran into a tree. Yeah. Very nice. Fall to me, brigands. Nice. Our ranger, or our night rangers, bro. These guys are so cool. Oh, got him. Let's go. We've whipped the bastards. I got a spear sticking out of my back and shit. That's so funny. We've rescued a Vlandian peasant. We've no need for you, my friend. I apologize. Ah, let us get ourselves a Lord's Justice. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Titanian Thoroughbred. Ah, something to hurt us. 
perfect. One down, one to go. Let us find the last of these brigands. Aha! More forest bandits. Yeah, what do you want with us? I want you to surrender or die, brigand. You'll never take us live. <laughs> these voices are so fucking goofy, dude. I love it. <laughs> I don't know why they're they're getting into weird formations like that, but whatever. Yeah, see, like, why, what are y'all doing, bro? My bad. <laughs> look at them. They look so good. They look so good. I absolutely love it. Our menacing army of knights. Like, we're, they look so good, man. I love the blue. Like, I love how they've got our, our colors. Except for the, the red capes. It's kind of It's kind of random, but... That's all right. Uh oh. Boom! Attack! One man! Charge! Soldier! Attack! Send them all in. Nice. So we're moving a little bit faster, which is really good. Nice. And our, our, our uh, head on, like, you know, ram damage is pretty good as well. Ah! Oh. Victory! Very nice. Too good. Too good. One-handed axe. Ah! Oh. oh, I already have one. Huh? But that's perfect, because now... There's a bow for our dear friend here. Haha. -ha. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Ooh. And a better, uh, better bit of horse equipment for him as well. A successful final mission, I suppose. Anyway, you guys, that was a whole lot of fun. But uh, I am going to go ahead and leave this uh, first episode off here. I do plan on going the full distance with this playthrough, as well as the Evil Empire that you can catch us uh, streaming live on Saturdays. Um, I did kind of do it a little, uh, you know, stream heavy this past week, and I do apologize for that. I was just uh, really excited to try and test out some of the new stuff, some of the new features, and getting, uh, you know, uh, getting my mods and everything set up, and my, my moderators as well. Um, but we will get back to a regular upload schedule, so I do apologize for our, our weirdness. Um, but there's actually one more thing I want to show you guys. So I for I completely forgot. But we can also edit the appearance of our companions and we can change their name. And by edit appearance, I'm talking the whole nine yards, you guys. Like, you want them to be a female? They're a female now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if y'all want me to start adding new companions to our party, um, or like, you know, personal, uh, <coughs> excuse me. If y'all want me to start adding personal OCs and characters and creative people or creative characters that you made up you know give me give me a character give me their name their background and we can definitely try and set somebody up I'm not gonna lie I do kind of like Vatican Deadeye as this guy um, he does have a really high level with crossbows and uh, one-handed so I might kind of I might try and make him like our, our master marksman in the army so uh, but if there's any other creative characters y'all want me to add in that we can change our uh, our newer companions into, y'all definitely let me know uh, in the comments section. And uh, of course, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me because, you know, you know you want to be a knight. Who doesn't want to be a knight, you know? Like, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It's tempting you, and I, I know it is. You're kind of hovering over it right now. You want to go ahead and do that. <laughs> But without further ado, you guys, always, always, always remember the words of our house, honor and service, glory and sacrifice. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.